Shigella usually invades the mucosa of the large intestine, gaining entry through M cells. This is mediated by a large virulence plasmid, which means that Shigella possesses many proteins that aid in its entry. It spreads through macrophages, which undergo apoptosis to spill out the bacteria. They enter the cells through junctional complexes where they multiply. Remember, Shigella is non motile, so it requires the assistance of actin to spread from cell to cell. It slides along actin stress cables where it causes polymerization of the host cells. Another possible path of entry is through PMN transmigration. This might get a bit confusing, so I have highlighted the three important points to remember. Number one is a large virulence plasmid. Number two is entry through M cells. And number three is spread through actin polymerization. Shigella produces two types of exotoxins. Enterotoxin called Shigella enterotoxin type 1 and type 2 found predominantly in S. flexneri. It also produces a cytotoxin called Shiga toxin produced by S. dysentery. Shigella also possesses an endotoxin which is released by autolysis. This primarily causes intestinal inflammation and ulceration.